guys, it's Ignite here, and welcome to the first official episode of Angry Bird Space Soaring to Completion. Yes, that is, if you remember seeing the intro in the announcement video, um, that is the official title for the, um, series. Anyways, today we're, we'll be starting this by with the, by doing a completion episode. Today we'll be completing Friday to the Moon and Utopia. The reason why I'm com- Anyways, as I was saying, the reason why I'm combining both Utopia and Friday to the Moon in one video is because Friday to the Moon, since it ha only has 10 levels, like, it should- I mean, I, sh I should feature it in it, combine it with a- with either the whole- the rest of Utop- completing Utopia or- like, when I go to the three-star run, for sure, I'll probably have its own episode. Because, as, um... Completing the, completing the chapters are a lot... I mean, completing each planet is pr pretty tricky. I can remember for sure that, um, Pig Bang and Cold Cuts... Of all the planets, those two are really easy to get three stars on. So, um, I bet you got, if you guys are wondering how far, or how, how far have you gone exactly before, like, on your pre, on, like, if I've done this run before, if I've done a three star run before, well, I haven't, um, I've official and well on that on a nerd device it's on a nerd device. On that device I've completed brass hogs. Th I three starred this all the everything all the way up to um Utopia. Three starred a lot of I mean and I three starred um Beacon Impact Part One. I don't remember if I yeah, I did do part two as well. Although that was a long time ago because that phone, that other device I playing in space on is quite old because I've had it for and I've had it for quite some time. So I'm gonna start like this. Please let it all collapse. Lap. Oh, there we go. I wonder how many episodes it's going to take to, well, clear everything out here. Um, so far, this level, these, the Friday to the Moon levels aren't messing around. And I will be having different thumbnails for the, the different types of episodes. Well, I don't know if I'll have a different... Yeah, I'll have a different... Oh, yeah, I can't... Uh, if I can find, like, an image for, like, of the three stars... I mean, of, like, the stars they use in Angry Birds. Um, I probably will use those in, um, the three star episode thumbnails. And then I'll use a different background... In the um, mirror world episode, and probably maybe even reverse some of the t mirror some of the text. Oh, I remember. And here's this one. I'm. This is three nine, which this is the second to last level of Fry Me to the Moon. What you do here? I know what you have to do here, but it's kind of all about timing, like. Once you get the pig, the bubble of the pig here. Um, once you get the bubble of the pig, you can, um, everything else will pop and drop down. Yep, and there we go. 
Well, I'm pretty... Oh, I thought it would, but... Maybe it's, like, only the TNT that really pops. Anyways, five minutes in, and we're already at the finale for Fry Me to the Moon. This is the boss. I'm curious to see the mirrored version to see if Hector is going to replace the mustache, because King Pig is not here in this level. This is, only, this is, like, the only boss level that does not involve King Pig. This one and, um, the, um, Red Hawk, I mean, um... Um, Red Planet. Why well, was I was thinking about the Hogs on Mars Connect set? Why was I thinking about that? I'll probably do one episode where I hunt down the eggs. Um, in this, in the the egg trade, in this. So there we go. Eps, Frame to the Moon has officially been completed. On to Utopia. Hold on, guys. Anyways, on to Utopia. Um, currently, I'm on level 12, so we're in the bubbles part of the levels. So yeah, it's these first few episodes, we don't, because I've already completed both cold cuts, and Pig Bang, you don't see those two chapters in this vi in this episode. Uh, I mean, th those two planets in this episode, but you will see Cold Cuts in um, Pig Bang eventually, like probably in the three star episodes. Like, I'll probably do three episodes um, today. I'll probably record the first three episodes of the series today. Um, so that means. So, and which I'll probably release all in the same day. I mean, since I mean, why not? Since these are pretty simple to make, although it's gonna take a while to finally finish. So I'm gonna do a completion episode, a three star episode, and then a mirrored episode. But the mirrored episode. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by Angry Birds Dream Blast. Um, the mirrored levels will be a um. Well, the mirrored episode, the first mirrored episode will come before the first three-star episode. Because honestly, the mirrored episodes, I bet you'll find more interesting. Like, I'm on, and I am as, I am excited to, well, play all the through, all the mirror world levels. I'm kind of curious what the mirrored Utopia boss looks like. Like, I now want to really know what the mirror Utopia fight looks like. Because I don't remember what the final level for Utopia looks like mirror. Like, is Bork still involved in a way? Like, the smaller version of Bork, maybe? Like, I'm... That's something... Ooh, that was a good shot. That was a really nice shot. Let's hope I can get a shot similar to that again, because honestly, that was a really nice shot where I got almost every single pig here. Come on. Ah, I almost ha had it again. I want to try to get, use, not use, I want to try one last time before I go for use all bird strategy. I want to try one more time with trying to get only use bubble, only use both of the bubbles. Like, I want to actually try to use both of the bubbles. Yeah. Like, I think bu just using bubbles is going to be my key to three stars on this level. Oh, shoot. Debris, debris, debris. Uh, nope. Oh, well. Let's see how I did on this level. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Please get him, popcorn. Get him! No, the popcorn! You failed me, popcorn! <laughs> popcorn fail. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna have to come up, like, every time I make one of these, I'm probably gonna have to come find the best moment of the video and actually make a face the title off of that. I already, and <laughs> that actually is pretty good. I really like that idea, popcorn. You
Please, Red. Wow! Red actually got him. Anyways, again, with the Dream Blast interruption. One. So this one, this one's pretty classic, I say. I remember this one, like... Ooh, that... This might actually be a three-star completion. So, like, whatever I don't three-star in the completion episode... In the completion episodes, I'll come back to three-star in the three-star episodes. And I want to know you... I want to know, guys, in, like, during these first three episodes, I'm going to go power-up less, but I'm curious. Would you like to see me use power-ups, or would you say, or would you want, do you want me to do a power-up free run? Because, I mean, I'm willing to do whichever. So we got, ooh, this could be a good shot. And I'm just going to finish this level off with red here. So each level, each episode will probably be about 20 to 30 minutes long. Well, at least for the mirrored and completion episodes. But for the three star episodes. Ooh, wait, there's also I do like the feather, my the total destruction episodes as well. Which means Mighty Space Eagle, because I almost forgot I need to get some, um, I need to have, I need to do, um, all the feathers in each chapter to unlock all the sardine can levels. Which, I'll probably save that for last, because, I mean, I might do some Mighty Eagle level things occasionally, but not that often, because... Let's say currently with the whole with with me having to unlock the brass hogs levels, um, I don't get my many, um, sardine cans. I mean, many mighty space eagles. Although I know I first think I'm pretty sure I will get one after I complete Utopia. I think I don't remember if you do like. I didn't get any from completing fr any power-up bundle from completing Fry Me to the Moon for some odd reason. Like, why? Of all, like... Maybe it's because Fry Me to the Moon is, like, kind of like a bonus episode. It feels like, still, it's, like, number episode, chapter three, but it's just not as long as the previous two chapters or something is why they're going against counting it. I mean, uh, why they're not counting it as one that gives you some power-ups. Uh. Alright, so I need to... Ooh... That was good. <sighs> but we have the split. We have a split here. Not a banana split. It's just a split of pigs. Similar to bowling. You like got the... F I had like the one... One eight split or something. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, this could be a good one. Um, just let that move. And boom! Another... All that's left is that guy, which I could get by destroying this TNT here. Or just... Or not. I mean, destroying that works too. Seriously, why am I... All am I getting... I'm like... I was getting some Angry Birds 2 ads, but I have not gotten the, any Angry Birds 2 ads in a while. Why just Dream Blast? 
Anyways, an interesting lineup. I love how we got Icebird and Bubbles. It's kind of sad. After Pig Dipper, we don't see Icebird much in the level of After Pig Dipper. Like, we see him in Beak Impact, but we don't see him in, say, like... We don't see him... I don't think we see him... We don't even see him at all in Cosmic Crystals or... Um... Brass Hogs. Which is honestly odd, like... Do we even see him in the cutscene of Brass Hogs? I don't remember. So we got this level here with the key lime pies having to bounce Terrence off the key lime pie and go into these structures. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye. Two of the three Terrence. I'd use two of the three Terrences. There we go. I thought that would at least be two stars, but wow. The Olympics level here. Like, we don't even see him in Solar System either. Like, it's odd. Like, what happens between the um, Cosmic Crystals and Beak Impact, because we don't see him in those two episodes at all. I mean, at, in Cosmic Crystals, same thing goes for, like, between Brass Hogs, I mean, between Beak Impact and Brass Hogs, well, Be Beak Impact and Danger Zone, because, um, the Angry Birds Official Guidebook states that Danger Zone is like the final chapter in the Angry Birds in the story of Angry Birds Space, according to that guidebook, which I find super interesting, but I don't know if that's true anymore. Like at the time that guidebook was released, only um everything up to I'm pretty sure everything up to like Pig Dipper was featured in that guidebook because it was like early 2013 stuff. Like I remember seasons it had all the way up to. Um, Africa Bacon. So we got Asteroid Field right here. Anything? It didn't get anyone, unfortunately. Ooh, but that got, that got three of the four pigs. So that there's that. Probably be blocking out all like I mean blurring out all the notifications when I edit these. This is just hard, like, wow. I think it's because we're in the later, yeah, we're in, we're in nearing the end of Utopia. Okay, oh, 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 okay, let's see here, let me just do this and boom. So yeah, there we go. Only the one star. Oh yeah, this level. There is an egg up there, but I'm not going to go for it today in this episode because I think I'll do an egg hunt episode um, probably after I complete Beak Impact 1. Or, well, like I said, I'll still do some off-camera stuff, but 
yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode once I complete Utopia, and then I'm going to start fil- recording on the um, mirrored episode. Yes, I'm <laughs> talk telling you guys my plans for the series. So, yeah, a few hours after this one goes, I mean, about, like, maybe a half an hour after this one goes up, you'll see the mirrored episode co- come out. Five levels left. So yeah, it's probably gonna be like thirty minutes at the max for these video for these ga- gameplay videos. But um I don't know how I don't know. So let's destroy that tower right here. It's all frozen thanks to iceberg. Boom. Okay, so this one, I think I go like that. Come on, get the TNT, get the TNT, yeah! And then, hopefully I can send blues around here to destroy this tower. And, ugh. I thought I was so close to, I think that might be my three-star three strategy for this one is getting all the pigs with two birds like I don't see how I could get both towers with just laser you know what I'll just try to just get him right like this because I mean after all I did get those lollipops so it could give me that could might still secure me a nope I was like, might secure me a three-star completion, but nope. Looks like they've got some cameras. I can do Popcorn. Is not doing me. Ju- is not doing great. <laughs> come on, come on, fall in there. Wait. Yep. Okay. So he just lands. He doesn't have to bounce around. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. I think I remember this. I think. Oh right. I cannot. Oh right. I can't. I can't send them like that. I have to send laser around like this. Hopefully blow that up and get those lollipops where Foreman is. Yeah. And then... I think I'll do a similar strategy with Icebird. But n- since he can't go up like laser can, he'll just blow that up. And well, hopefully that is enough to... Gu- goodbye? Are you serious? Bruh. Bruh. Come on. Well, I think I figured out the strategy, but it just didn't go right as I planned. Ooh. Come on. Blow that up. Blow it up. As long as that gets... As long as that TNT gets blown up right there... I should be fine. Are you serious? There we go. And now... Go in again with Icebird, hopefully, to blow up that TNT and, well, get everyone. Come on. That should get him. I mean, if this guy survives somehow, okay. You would ex- I would expect that to be more than just one star because of those lollipops. Anyways. 
think well that ad is gone and now so i think with the mirrored episodes i might go power i might not go power plus because the mirrored levels are actually pretty tricky like they're really hard compared to your the normal versions of those levels so i'm gonna start off i think my strategy might work really well here with this like sending Icebird down like that and then sending the blues like that ooh oh this could be it ah he bounced off the, his own ice wow he bounced off the, his own blocks that he turned well when I say his own blocks I mean blocks that he actually froze Okay, and then I'm going to go over there and hopefully turn that guy in the chair to ice. <laughs> that guy in the chair. Ugh, that was not a good shot either. Just... I mean... Even when I've done these levels multiple times, I still sometimes make mess up a bit sometimes. To be honest, it's been a while since I've played Angry Birds Space. Like, it's been a while since I've done, like, like tried to three-star it. Because, I don't know why I haven't done it lately, but... Or even start try to complete it, because it's... I mean... I don't know how long it's been since I've been kind of not playing Angry Birds Space. Like, like, I've been playing a lot of Angry Birds 2 lately, myself, lately, same, and, like, so, classic... As well. Okay, hopefully that should do it. Yeah, there we go. And that gets rid of everyone. That should... This should be the boss. Yeah, here we are. Here we are at Big Bork. Just gonna eat some popcorn. So, from what I remember of this boss is that he does not, a tip I say to, is, um, every, he only, he doesn't take every, every hit does not count towards him. Only every other hit is what, what he, um, every other hit on it, every other thing he eats that's bad, he, of course, he gets hurt, hurt by it. But like, if he doesn't get, if he gets hurt by it, um, if he says, if he, if he eats it, but it's, but he eats it right after he ate an or something else that's bad, he, it won't count as a hit point for Bork here. Like, say that, like, that didn't count much. Oops. Um. So we'll start by doing the classic boulder into the gravitational field. There we go. I think what I should do, should try to do, is try to send bubbles in there. And maybe get the, some bat, hopefully that got some, may, is, wait. Is that popcorn machine not going to make some black popcorn? No, it did not, unfortunately. <laughs> so Bork is pretty fun boss, I say. One of my favorite bosses from Angry Birds Space is this guy. Because you just have to feed him stuff. All you have to do is just feed him bad stuff to defeat him. Sorry, bud. Enjoy your popcorn. 
Ooh, that could be a... That's a good one. Although, I didn't... Honestly, could have gone a lot better with the, um... Ooh, wait, is it... Oh, it's rolling. It's rolling. There we go. And there's some more power-ups. Unfortunately, I did not get three stars um, on this boss. But I'm excited to, to see the mirrored version of this level. So there it is. So there we go. This is episode one of Angry Bird Space Soaring to Completion. So um, tune in later today or tomorrow, whichever, whenever I post um, part two, episode two, which is a mirrored episode. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more awesome gameplay videos. Alright, guys. Bye!